experience like between the ages of zero and say six, right? And then we kind of work them through and build them up through their, you know, mid year six to 10. And that's kind of when the peer pressure takes over and then they don't listen to us anymore and they listen to their friends. So <laughs> we're very realistic about like, our sweet spot, you know? And um, what we're gonna do tonight is just go through kind of a, 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 a kind of a prototype, if you would. We're gonna try it here, get your feedback at the end, go to the end of the presentation and then I want to hear from you guys how we can tweak it or add to it or take from it or whatever because it's all about you and then um, I'll type up a script to go along with this it, so that you could take this right into your home and just flip through it and do it there like Gina and I are going to do a presentation on Friday night for a bunch of it's like a workshop and this fits right into a workshop setting because you can get hands-on with a lot of them stuff. hey cool I see you <laughs> bopping his head in there <laughs> and um you know and, and similar situations so Buffy's gonna repeat it and then Lauren's gonna repeat it so you guys can take this on the east coast too so what we'll do oh good we're recording awesome um welcome everybody to the Tuesday night call I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen and take you to a presentation that we just put together Ta -da. okay can you all see what's in front of me here? Yeah, okay. So you should see a screen that says Happy Kids, Healthy Moms. I'm sorry, Healthy Kids, Happy Moms. And the whole concept of this is that we wanna be able to illustrate to moms that the healthier your kids are, the happier you end up, right? What, did somebody have something to say? No, we're okay. All right, so that's the, the picture and the, and the title here. Um, basically why we're here today, everybody, and so this is how I would open it up. You'd introduce yourself. I'll probably have a screen, like a slide. You could put your picture and your family's picture in there. Introduce yourself. Give your two to four minute story, which I'm going to cut short here just for the sake of time. But, um, you know, several years ago, I partnered with the Juice Plus Company because you know, to inspire healthy living around the world because I felt that there was a need and I felt that the message was really strong in terms of prevention and the fact that I could get out there and go and educate families from a young age to help them bring awareness to their diets and their education um, and the education that, would, that came along with it really gave them tools and tips and tricks and a community to help support that healthy lifestyle through adulthood. And that's really, as a former teacher, what we care most about is raising healthy kids, right? The healthier our kids are, the happier we are as parents and the happier our communities are really. So when we can build those, um, those communities together, it really makes a big difference. So today we're coming together to share some of our mommy ninja moves and really help you see, you know, walk away enabled with tips and tricks and tools to really help have some fun with your kids, but also bring more awareness to the family and the discussion your family so there's more control over um, you know decisions as we say rather than kind of making last minute decisions for bad choices we're going to try to empower you with tools to make better choices on the front end so there's two startling trends that we see in our world today and you guys are going to see a lot of these um, this is a side note but a lot of the, the um, slides I took directly from the shred 10 presentation so I'm duplicating what we already have in place this is a tip for you just don't go recreating the wheel all the time it's nice to use what's already out there. Um, but there are two startling trends in our world today. The first is the environmental toxins that are increasing. So we see that everywhere from our food that we eat, there's you know chemicals sprayed all over everything to the air we breathe, to the water we drink. It's in our clothes, it's in our toys, it's pretty much everywhere we look around. The other issue that we're dealing with is that food quality is decreasing. There's more preservatives, there's flavor enhancers, there's a whole science and business behind getting people to get hooked on certain foods rather than using food is what it's meant to be in fueling the body for, you know, a long, healthy life. So there's a lot coming at us from all different directions. And really what we know to be true is that we need 10 servings of fruits and vegetables. That's a fistful of raw produce. So 10 fistfuls per day to stay well and to be healthy in this day and age. And I don't know many people that are doing that. So what we're doing today is really trying to empower you guys to increase the amount of fruits and vegetables that you and your families are eating and also bring more awareness and make some better decisions and choices and, and using some of the tools that we have um, to make that easier for you. Okay. 
So one of the things that we've done as moms in our community is we've gone out into the schools and really used this document and some other little tricks to start the conversation. This is a really fun piece of paper that we laminate and at a party what we would do you guys is we would have it laminated so that they could take it with them home. But it really gives the kids a chance to take control and ownership of their decisions. And so when we talk to children in terms of color, they really start to grasp that concept a lot better than say, you know, just calling it a fruit or a vegetable. So what I, we do in our house is at the end of the day, we kind of take a look and see like a little inventory and say, okay, so how do we do today? Let's count our colors. Have we had something red? You know, and then they have to remember what they ate. So right now, obviously with um, summer, it's a little bit easier. Watermelon, cherries, strawberries, that kind of thing. Red peppers, um, orange, you know, and we go through the whole color gamut. The blue tends to be the hardest one to get, <laughs> but blueberries are always a popular pick. So we try to stay stocked on those, but even those can be really expensive, right? So we just try to, um, you know, use this as a guidance and a tool. So you've got one, two, three, four, five, four, six, four, six, four. And we need to add another four. So you'd have to double up on some of the other colors. So what I encourage you to do is ask your kids what their favorite colors are and then double up on those. <laughs> you know, um, try to do it in that kind of a way. Uh, but the goal is to get 10 each day. So this is a good start, right, to get that showing. And I have to say that the parents that have implemented this, they come back to me year after year after year and tell me we're still using the chart. The kids love the chart. And what I think it does for families is it really gets them um, it builds that awareness, but that, that repetition builds patterns of behavior. And when those kids go off to college and whatnot, you better bet that they're going to be sitting at the end of the day thinking, how many colors should I have mm -hmm. today? You know, it's really just ingraining good habits for them. So the next trip, the next, next mommy ninja trip we, uh, trick we have here is smoothies. There's so much that you can do with smoothies. And even just looking at this, this beautiful rainbow of smoothies, another thing for young preschool age kids is to ask them, what color smoothie do you want this morning? Dr. Sears talks about um, smoothies as really the best way that you can set your kid up for a good day at school. And he even has on his website, the AskDrSears.com, a brainy breakfast. Um, recipe that he recommends and um, the biggest mistake that I find that people do when they're making smoothies this is just a little caveat is they forget to put the fat in there and it's really important you guys especially for young brains which their brains are 60% fat all of ours are if you start your day with a little bit of coconut oil put in there or um, you know like a little peanut butter or nut butter that kind of thing you're gonna end up sustaining a lot longer and it really helps get some good omegas into your your, um, your bloodstream, which is really important too. So we find that with, with colors, we can get the kids involved in the process of making smoothies. And we have a protein blend that I'm going to talk about in a little bit that is just one other way to get lots of, you know, plant nutrition in there and kind of sneak it in there. The, mo the ninja part of our conversation is all about, you know, really sneaking in good habits so that they become their own <laughs> habits. And it's so fun when we can do it that way. So the next thing we're going to talk about, and so in a in a in home presentation or Gina for you, we would do that in person. So we'd have the smoothies already made and out there, so they can taste some. We'd probably talk about it. You would expand a little bit more on that slide, and then they would sip and you know get some thoughts about um, the flavors and the colors, and maybe even if the kids were involved, they could rate which color they liked the best. That kind of thing, just to get them involved. Um, now the muffin tin snacks. This is another really really great tool that we use and a trick that for picky eaters specifically is a really good trick. So what you do is you take a muffin tin and you fill it with all different kinds of colors, textures, um, healthy choices that you would approve of and you fill the tray in the beginning of the day. So say maybe after breakfast around 10 o'clock or something, right when they start to get a little bit hungry and you put it right in the middle of the dining room table. Summer's a great time to implement this trick because they're always looking to grab something. And if your kids are like mine, they interrupt you every 10 minutes to get something else in their bellies. <laughs> so to have this out there and let them graze on it all day long really sets them up for one, kids should be grazing because that's how they eat. That's how they metabolize. And it sets their bodies up to digest the food better. So if they take a little bit here and a little bit there, um, I really encourage you guys give this a try, particularly if you have a picky eater, because the first couple of days, what you'll do is you'll put it out on the counter and they may pay attention or they may not. But over time, the longer you leave it there and the less you say about it, the more likely they are to start eating from it. And you'll be really surprised at the choices that they make. I encourage you really to give this a try and, um, and see where it goes from there. It's always fun to get the feedback on the little nibble trays. 
Um, okay, so fact. So another way that we know how to get kids to eat more fruits and vegetables is to help them grow a garden. So one of the things that, um, this is just a fact across the board, that kids who are involved in their growing eat better and they make better choices. They're proud of what they've done. They watch the food come from the ground and grow and make those big leaps and bounds as it does in the hot days over the summer. And so this is a really, really fun way to get kids eating. So I always encourage my, like my daughter, if she's just about six years old and we sat down together and decided, okay, we're going to build a garden. So what do we want to put in there? And I encouraged her. I said, well, I'm only going to grow things that you'll eat. Why don't we come together and some ideas and pick out a garden? So we went seed shopping together and this was like a really fun activity. And now we're in the process of, um, of putting that all together. So I had to put this slide in here. This is a picture of our tower gardens. And this is something that the Juice Plus company partnered with a couple years ago. And they've done such an excellent job at really bringing this education and this, this tool. It's really just a tool. It's like food technology, bringing them to schools and to environments where kids can get hands on with these. They're in the Boys and Girls Club across the country. We put them in there for free. Um, reps from the company actually come in and manage them. But what I love so much, this is a family garden that you're looking at. What I love so much about the tower gardens is one, they save 90% of the water. So out here in California, that's a really big deal. Um, given the drought that we just went through, I think all of us are still a little shocked and you know, shell shock and we're trying to hold on to as much of it as we can. And this just saves, it, it saves a ton of time too. And it's really beautiful because it gives your, your lawn or your area you know, where you would normally build a garden, it gives it a break and it takes the, the growing upwards. So you can grow so much more in such you know, a shorter amount of space. Um, but what I love about it too is that you, you, there's really not a lot of bugs because you're growing above ground so you leave that soil behind and instead you end up with you know, produce that grows 30% faster, about 40% bigger and you can rotate these crops often. So what you can do is you can actually take like this lettuce, for instance, and you can move it up here if you wanted to or change towers. And I love the way these ones are put together because they have like a salad tower and then there's a, you know, a whole, um, a whole um, tower over here. If you wanted for juicing, you could build a juicing tower or a tomato tower or a strawberry tower. You can really grow it with purpose in mind. And it's super, super fun. And then for for those of us who live in climates where there's weather, <laughs> out here in Southern California, we get um, the Santa Ana winds that come and blow through really quickly and they can destroy a garden in a matter of hours. It's like taking a hair dryer and just burning the plants with it. And what we find is that you can put these on wheels and move them into the garage, protect it from, like in Colorado, they have hail storms and things, protect it from a you know summer rain shower or whatever. And or sometimes, you know, certain climates get frost and that'll kill a whole crop that had just bloomed in the middle of the spring. You know, you can really protect it from the environmental factors that way. So there's just so many endless possibilities with these. And I think truly every family should have one. It's just, a, you know, a really incredible tool. And then, of course, if we were at my house, you know, I would take them outside and they'd touch and play and look at them. Okay, you guys. Um, so on the next slide. So even with the best intentions, this can be challenging. And I like this picture because this is a visual of 10 servings of fruits and vegetables that you could eat per day. Obviously, somebody liked blueberries, so they put two of them in there. <laughs> but, um, but, you know, think about it. There's not a lot of green here, you know, which we should be eating most of. Maybe another big, I know, thing of broccoli. But think about your kids and what they're actually eating. Are they going to be able to eat all this, you know? It's a lot to sit down and eat and consume 10 servings per day. So on the best days, yes. Do we get it? Of course. We try our best. We do some days. But on the other days, like if we're running out and playing at the beach or we're going someplace else, you know, things can fall through the cracks. And what I wanted to introduce to you today was this whole concept of whole food plant nutrition. And the company, Juice Plus, has just put it in a really convenient and easy way to consume. So you see these three bottles up front here. We have the fruits, the vegetables, and the berries. And together combined, you're getting 30 superfoods into your bloodstream every single day with, you know, just by literally simply taking some capsules. Inside the capsules are these powders of dehydrated produce that it's basically like powdered produce. And it's the coolest thing. They have no, you know, pesticides, or herbicides, or any of that junk. And you can really just be certain and, and uh, confident that you're getting the most highest quality produce into your bloodstream each day and you don't even have to chew it and that's the thing that's so crazy so it's kind of like Jetson food for those of us that grew up in the you know 70s 80s and 90s and 
Um, and in addition to that, we have these really amazing protein powders. So we have fruit, uh, we have chocolate and vanilla. And I've been told that you can hide anything in the chocolate. <laughs> I've been told by many moms, she's like, you're not going to believe what I hid in there today. But for those kids particularly who won't touch anything green, which I know we have a lot of those, um, you know, that's a really easy way to get it in there. And what happens is when you start to feed the body with this awesome produce, because it is living food, there's no supplement labels on anything that this company puts together. It's all nutrition labels because it's 100% food. What happens is it gets into the bloodstream. Your body is really, really smart and your brain is smarter than your belly. And what happens is through metabolic programming, your body actually changes the taste buds. So the brain will send a synapse to your tongue and change the taste buds so that the kids start to actually crave more of these foods that you see here. Oh, let me get back for a second. Um, so let's just take a look at what's in here. Cherries, alfalfa sprout, amaranth, apple, artichoke leaf, beet, bilberry, blackberry, black currants, blueberries, broccoli, broccoli sprouts, cabbage, chickpeas, cocoa, carrots, conquered grapes, cranberries, dates, edelberries. I'm not even halfway done and I haven't eaten any, like maybe two of those today, you know? <laughs> Garlic, grapes, kale, millet, green tea, ginger root, tomatoes, spinach, rice, radish sprouts, pumpkin, pomegranates, peach, parsley, orange, mushrooms, oats, papaya, pea, pineapple, prunes, quinoa, raspberry, soy, spirulina, and yucca. I don't know about you guys, but if I had to seriously sit and count through all the different things that we eat on a daily basis, I have to say that one thing that we're really guilty of, even though we work really hard to eat healthy in our family, is we eat the same things every day or very frequently, right? So I can tell you that we're not getting a ton of pumpkin in our diet. We're not getting a ton of pomegranates or um, edelberries for sure, bilberries, you know, none of those things are coming close. And all of these things have been specifically chosen for the superfood qualities that they carry and the ability to get into the bloodstream and to do good things to protect your immune system and, you know, build healthy cells and tissues and really set your body up for its optimal peak performance. So just taking a look at this, how cool is that? So there's over 30 published studies. Now 37 is the number, I believe, with Juice Plus, um, in the entire world. They're in peer reviewed publications, which is really amazing and it's backed by science. And this is the thing that really caught my eye having been through a master's program. I understand the importance and the significance of this, but particularly it's amazing to me how many different places validate this product. And if you look at all this research and its compilation, you look at the totality of the body of research, there's nothing on this planet that comes even close to what Juice Plus can do with or without a prescription. And just look at some of the names here, MD Anderson, you know, um, Vanderbilt, Wake Forest, Yale University, some pretty amazing places that really put their stamp of, of uh, approval on this. And I love that because, you know, when I put those little Juice Plus comes in gummies too, which I didn't mention before, but the little gummies into my kid's mouth every day, I just know for certain that we're doing really good things to build their bodies up. And there is nothing that I want more in this world than to have healthy children from start to finish. I really want them to live to their fullest potential for as long as they possibly can. And I'm sure you guys do too. So here's a little bit about the Complete Shakes. They're low glycemic and they stabilize the blood sugar. This really helps kids stay longer faster. So when they're going to school, think about it this way, and you know they have that little crash around 10 o'clock, you know, from eating cereal or something like that. The, the Complete Shake really helps carry them through to lunchtime and it helps them perform better in school. It helps them pay attention longer. I think specifically about our, you know, our teenage groups or preteens, you know, they go in there and their bodies are just burning fuel left and right. They're so fast, you know, and there's so many changes happening too. And if we can impact them and empower them to have as much nutrition as possible, then those little healthy cells are going to lead to healthy tissues and healthy muscles and organs and systems and the whole body's going to perform better as they grow into adulthood. Um, the product's vegan, non-GMO, gluten and dairy free. It's plant-based protein, which is really nice to know that there's no inflammation coming from this particular shake. There's no way anywhere involved in it. And it's a powerful prebiotic fiber. So you'll find that the digestion happens. It gets, your digestion gets so much better. And I work with a lot of parents whose kids actually have constipation, which always kind of surprises me. But then when we start evaluating their diet, it's, it makes a little bit more sense why. Um, you know, there's just a lot of preservatives and 
more food and not a lot of fiber these days. So in terms of getting started on the program, you know, we really encourage you guys to implement some of the tricks we put out there today, like make this a fun and active participating kind of an experience for your family, get everybody involved, start talking about the colors that you're eating, you know, and fill in the gaps with Juice Plus. Like that's the best thing about it is that a little bit every day goes a long way. And if you can do the best you can on the choices on the front end, this will help, you know, support you on the back end and together you'll end up so many, you know, steps further than you were had you done nothing. So we encourage you to start somewhere. Some people start with one shake a day and they just add those smoothies to their breakfast regimen or their mid-afternoon snack. Some people want to jump in and they do the, the trio blend, which gives them the full benefit of the rainbow plus the, the shake. And a lot of times what we find in this package, you can add kids for free so they can get those free gummies or if they're a little bit older, they can get capsules for themselves. Um, but then some people like to take it a step further and they know that they're really needing a revamp, you know, and they want to start something fun and new. And so this is a really good option for them too. And we have a whole, um, detox program that goes with this. If you really wanted to take that step in that direction. And some people really enjoy that because it's two shakes a day. It's the capsules or the gummies. And really what happens there is you're kind of crowding out the bad choices by adding in a lot of good. And I love that. Then I kind of do a reset every once a month and we have groups that will do that for you as well. So you can join us um, on Facebook and we put it together a nice, really cool group and have a lot of support and recipes and all that good stuff along the way. So that's all I have for you today. And we want to encourage you to take a step in, in one direction, make sure everybody tries and tastes everything that we have here today. And that's what I got. Okay, now let me get on here so I can see you guys again. All right, who wants to come off a of mute and give us some feedback? Yeah. Lauren, Lauren's here. Hi. Hey, Lauren. I would love to um, have that maybe um, where I, we can invite people on Monday, July 10th. <laughs> okay. <laughs> after, after our team call, um, maybe at 7 p.m. I'm writing it Yeah, down. that sounds, here's, uh, Joe's here. That sounds great, Lauren. <laughs> Atta girl. <laughs> I second that motion. <laughs> <laughs> good. Thank you. Okay, good. Um, That's a good thing. Yeah, so I think, um, that would be awesome to have okay. uh, to have you do it, you know, once with uh, a group, and then I'm just going to listen to this recording over and over again. <laughs> I'm going to put you in my pocket and carry you around with me all the time. <laughs> awesome. Well, I'm going to put together, I have notes, but I'll type those notes up too so that you guys have them. So it's just notes for each slide, just like we do with all the other ones that the um, corporate's made. Francesca wants to say hi, everybody. Hi. Hi, Gabby. <laughs> so um, what we'll do is, if that's good, yeah, I'll just type up the yes. notes so you guys have the bullet points there, and then you can walk through and kind of look at your own notes, you know, and make it your own. You want to include, I, I do encourage you guys, I'll finish the PowerPoint, and then you can add a PowerPoint slide with your picture on it. Because I think it's important, especially if you were to do it like over the phone like this, you know, you want to introduce your family, you want to say who we are, whatever. Um, hey, Coral. <laughs> um, but what about the content? Like, I want some feedback on the content. Do we feel like it covered everything? Was there anything that was missing that you guys would like me to include? This is really about you and serving your needs. I'm just trying to come up with something that we can duplicate and change it up a little bit because we've been doing a lot of salad in the jars and I know that Sometimes it's nice to have something new to invite to. Anybody, anybody? Are we all frozen? I don't think it's the right form to add onto this, but something with the oxidated stress for you know the athletes and uh, Nick, the yeah. workout, the weekend warriors, that I think would be helpful as well. Sure. We could easily customize this to that too. You know what, Nick? Like just like shift it a little bit because it's got all the information packaged in, but I think maybe a research slide on that and then taking out the kid pictures and swapping them with like athlete pictures. That way you'd kind of get the same, that might work. Yeah. 
I think also um, it's important to see where the studies were done, but maybe also if it's possible to add what the studies showed, what they found. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's a slide for that. Yep. The research. I was trying to steer a little bit, and I'll just let you guys know, it's kind of what I've learned over the years is that the more you lean into the research, the more people feel like they have to research stuff. And so I'm trying to like kind of steer a little bit away from it too much. And that's what the company has done too, to make it more, um, I don't want to say bland, but more, what's the word? Just easy to grasp, you know, like kind of like a simple. More basic. Yeah. If you can, yeah, basic. That was the word. Exactly. Like simplify it a little bit because the less you have to think about it, the more people will say yes. And then when they say yes and they try it, they'll have a, an experience. And then through the experience, we can kind of coach them into, you know, being long-term customers. Um, oh, I have a question, Melissa. It's Buffy. Yeah. Hey, Buff. Hey. So would this not be a good slideshow to incorporate the children's health study? Um. No, I probably could do a children's health study slide. That's a good idea. Nice work, Buffy. Yeah. Yeah, that may be good to add that in. Yeah, yeah. you're right. Because I because talked about it, but to in have that. a visual. Yeah, to have a visual is probably a really oh, good yeah. idea. Yeah, thank you. Because they're going to ask about that. Like, what is that? What are right. for free? See, when you're in, when you're in home, you're in person with somebody, there's a lot more you can talk about and yeah. kind of take some caveats, but particularly for the online version. Yeah. I think you guys are right. Um, good. See, this is why I'm coming to you. Heather, what did you think? Is that the first presentation you've seen? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, now you're muted. I can't. I, there you are. Yeah. I don't know how to work this thing. Yeah, <laughs> it's all good. You're on. That's what matters. Yeah. <laughs> yeah was it informative? Yeah. No, okay. It was. Okay. The idea is to get people to take a step, right? Try something new, take a step and, and illustrating that we've got, um, tools that are going to offer. Um, Danielle, you're quiet. How are you doing tonight? Uh, I'm on two devices. So <laughs> I can see. <laughs> <laughs> or where to unmute and what I didn't want to screw up the sound <laughs> <laughs> I think it's all good I do I think adding the children a slide on the children's health study is a great idea but also when you're doing this in home in person kind of thing it does lend more for sharing your personal experience, somebody sharing a story, how it's affected your kids, their health, their mm. eating, eating habits. But yeah. I mean, even if you're doing an online presentation too, you can throw that in, but it's, you know, the children's health study is a pretty cool study and it's got mm -hmm. awesome findings and it's good to throw it in there. Maybe that's the, the research there that we put in, Jen, is we use the children's health study research slide because that gives the, the feedback from all with they experience, which is kind of cool, and keep the, the focus more on the kids for this particular, um, you know, presentation, and then we can switch it for the one that Nick's talking about and add that more in on that side. That might be a good way to... And to there's also the, just the, the entire, whatever they call it, I don't even know, whatever it's called, like, just overall in general, like, what is Juice Plus kind of webinar that where these slides were pulled from. So there is a whole presentation with a script. Around that. Go into, you know, it's all of Juice Plus. It's the complete, it's the children's health study. It's the research. Right. It was done, the findings. So there is something for all that. The, and if I'm understanding correctly, you know, the point of this kids one, you know, mommy ninja kind of thing is really based around getting our kids, our kids whoever's trying to eat better, getting more in them fruits and vegetables and here's the tips and the tools and the tricks and how to do that and here's how juice plus can help in terms right. of the kids right right there's other direction we can go to steer it towards after work fitness people or weekend warriors or spartan racers <laughs> or whatever <laughs> yeah <laughs> i agree so kind of fine tuning it. Yeah. yeah. And, um, and just to bring up on that note, cause I know we're 
at the, yeah, we're over time. Um, Nikki Cotton and I was talking to Nikki today and she invited us to come in. So she's got some overview presentations. Lisa's been doing a bunch. Danielle's been helping out with those ones. But there are other ways and places you can plug into you guys. And we post those up for, you know, for you to really get on, see what it's all about, and then, you know, and bring guests with you because it's so much easier when you can bring somebody to the information and they can see it for themselves. Even if you have them over for, say, coffee or dinner or something and you guys just log in together, you know, I think that's a great way to share information with people is doing it together because then it's not like, oh, did they listen? Did they dial in? I don't know. You know, did they hear it? Rather than, you know, if you commit to being in the same space, then at the end of it, when they have questions, um, you can talk through all that stuff too. So that was the other thing I was going to put on there was I thought maybe having a one page at the end of just like, thank you, like any questions, you know, and post that up so that people can talk through their ideas right there. Cause it's kind of a quick presentation. So it lends itself for a little bit of room at the end. Um, a quick question regards yeah. to the children's health study when mm -hmm. they sign up you only get two out of the three um bottles right so I, I didn't realize that in the beginning now is the data is that taken from two of the bottles or from mm -hmm. three it's only from the two just from the two it's a really good point nick yeah. yeah so imagine when you add the third to it like what how much more of a benefit they're going to get meaning that so what he's talking about is that for the children's health study, they get the orchard and the garden, um, the red and the green, or the fruits and vegetables. Um, and then the vineyard would be a separate purchase for the kids. And that if you're, um, there is a little trick too, if you're signing up a mom, like two, a mom and a dad, and then they're two kids, right? They're both gonna get their free fruits and vegetables. You can get one order of the vineyard gummies will split between two kids. So if you're thinking about how you would place that order that's the way you would do it. You wouldn't need two orders of in your chewables. You would just need one to cover the whole family. So Melissa. Yes. Linda. Yeah. Hey. Hi. How are you? Okay. Um, I've got a question. You mentioned when you make a morning smoothie to add a little fat in there, like coconut yes. oil, correct? What yes. other fat is a, would you suggest if, if my, I, I will, does coconut oil have a taste? We haven't tried it yet. No, not really. It's just a little bit. It's just something that, um, that Dr. Sears recommends and he's, he's counseled me on it many times. <laughs> so, cause he's our doctor. So he's like, so are you putting fat in those smoothies? And I'm like, oh, <laughs> so, um, avocado is another great way to do it. Okay. Um, that I find is actually the least offensive. If you get them at that perfect ripeness, you know, you can't really tell that they're there. Yeah. Um, but yeah, the avocado, avocado oil too, you can get it from Trader Joe's. You can just pour it in. That's one way, but the coconut oil, um, nut butters are good, but if they have peanut allergies, obviously stick away from that. Um, what are other ways he suggested? Actually, you're not going to believe me when I say this, but he actually told me you can put salmon in a chocolate smoothie and not taste it. I was like, okay, I don't know about that. But <laughs> I mean, my kids eat enough of it as it is. But I'm like, I, I just kind of have to try it one time just to see if he's for real, you know, but, um, okay, but so we just had mean? salmon for dinner, but I'm not going to try that. Mark, <laughs> Mark do you want to try that? No. <laughs> no. I have a question on like the shake and cause this one here has nut allergies. So I don't, yeah. I don't give him the shakes. Oh, because right. of it. He wants a shake now he's saying, but, um, are they ever going to, process it differently or no you know lisa it's um i have i've had people with nut allergies that have never had issues ever I know, uh, and then there's a couple of random just... ones ever like literally we're talking nine years maybe one person that's it that i've heard from right. um but what but you it's like do... something that i would want to give to him when he's going to be around me not give to him and then right school right right later. You know? well i was just going to say what if you get some give him a, a dose of benadryl and then have him take it like eat it and see what happens and introduce it that way because it's actually yeah. I mean, a, i'm not i'm more nervous of like an accidental thing not that it's yeah. in it just that right. possibly it could have accidentally been put in it yeah so. uh, like i said only one in nine years i've heard of and it wasn't a customer of mine it was a customer of a customer so right it could have been contact with something else i don't know i didn't right. you know exactly yeah. Yeah. Okay. So they are really, really clean. And for those of you who ever want to come visit me in California, I'll take you to the point where everything's processed and you can see how amazing they are for quality control. It's pretty spectacular. 
Um, okay, I think we're done, you guys. Is everybody good with um, anything else you want to add in? Or Really excited for you all. We're doing well. We're adding a lot of new team members this month. Things are going fun. We're having fun. So just make sure I get to meet everybody because that's important. I want to get to know what everybody's looking for and how to help them and, you know, how to support them on their journey. All right. Thanks for hopping on. And if you think of anything else, just um, post it in underneath the, the recording in the comment section and we'll get the, we'll tailor everything to the way you want it. And then we'll put up that, um, apparently we're doing an event, Lauren, on uh, <laughs> July 10th. So <laughs> we'll work out all the details. <laughs> all right. Have a great night, everybody. Good night, guys. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.